A gift from Cecilia or free piano lesson on Carl Cherny Opus 599. Practical exercises for the beginners. Learn piano with Cecilia or detailed, continuous, and systematic instructions. We are going to learn double melody. When you have right hand part, E is C and E, and D and F, you have a double melody all the way through. Before we go into number 17, today's subject, we just practice from here to here. We are going to go through the first two majors and practice a little bit about that double melodies then it will be much easier for you to follow through. Okay, C and E and D and F, E and G and D and F. So practice that one right hand. not easy at first, but through the exercises, through the practice, you can gain it. Okay? Our hand, pink is shorter than the other three fingers, and thumb is shorter than three fingers. So what you should do, playing, if you play this one, tilt this one to thumb, so make the same high as the other longer fingers. At the same time, you have to tilt the to the pinky, so make it this pinky higher. Same level as the other three fingers. So, ram, ton, ton, do like that. You have to make it at the same time. Lean on it. Lean. Ba, lean, lean. So you have to wobble your hand toward it, toward. Wobble. Okay, don't play. Don't do that. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, more. So you need to practice until you get the good result. Okay. That's all the way through you have to do it. Okay. Let's try right hand part. Okay. Slowly. C, D, C, D, both. E, ra, ra, ra. Okay. You have to lean. Lean on it. Thumb, Lean, da, da, three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and one and phrase, very short phrase, the group ends right there. So this one has to be staccato. So it sounds like that. One and two and let's go back to middle part. F and D staccatos four times. One and two and three and four. and 
off. Okay, if you manage the double notch show nicely, that's all. How you treat the last note of the phrase. You have to remember that. Okay, let's play a little faster. like this don't be impatient don't claw playing we just have to go follow through even though you are doing very well all the way through for the exercise for your fingering dexterity the more you move your fingers your finger gets better and better and move very easily fluently so don't cut off here Oh, well, this is uh, very easy, so I don't have to go through. No, that is wrong. That's a C chord, okay? That's a C, C, C. Everything C here, okay? Be sure you change to the G seventh. G, okay, so here. Okay, you don't have to count it. And Tani again, and Tani seventh because you have F there, okay? But this is in version. And Tani again. And turning again, turning down into seventh with the F, and turning down into seventh with the F, turning and down into seventh with the F again, turning, 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 down into seventh and turning. All right, so we know already all the notes. So we will play slowly both and together. One and two. Okay, you have to wobble, wobble your hand and lean against it, lean against it. Another way to do it is bounce your wrist, okay, without moving your wrist, it's very hard to do it, so just uh, bounce it, bounce it, okay. Bounce it.
outside. But it is a good day for music. You sit down, wrap around with a blanket, and listen to good music. Or you just open up the YouTube and follow through the, all the instructions. It is a good way to spend a rainy day like this because you cannot go out. You don't want to go out. Have a nice day. See you next time. Bye-bye.